Hey everyone, Bird here with the latest Citizen Vlogger, hope you're all well. And today we're going to have a look at the Blues Review presented by the Manchester Evening News 1991-92. So we're going to have a look through there, plus it into two parts because there's quite a lot to look at. So we're going to look at the games and the season, the game by game. And obviously we're going to, without any great detail, just have a quick look. We would obviously go into great detail, don't we, specifics, whether we're different other vlogs, etc. But it's more of a quiz, little quiz as well, little quiz thrown in as well. So this part one, I think there's 17 points up for grabs. So let's see how you do with this first one. And this is what we're looking at today in the Blues Review. This is what the Evening News puts out at the end of the season. I've got a few of these. I've been going through, I've done one, one or two of these before. Please, if you're new to the Citizen channel, push the old... Uh, subscribe button there and push the bell notification so you know when these little specials are coming out a little bit of fun just for just for fun quizzes i mean we may do ones for prizes eventually but these are just for a little bit of fun to uh, to keep you occupied right so we're going to have a look at this obviously we've got mr peter reeds in charge this season isn't he? he was obviously a, a player manager when he started the season so you got the mr peter reed there and look at the headlines it's hot and Cold Blues, which sort of summarised the season up as you'll see it going through. Um, we did okay, but we could have, we were so close to doing a lot better. Um, obviously, Peter Reid kept us quite up there, didn't he, in the, in the top top level of the uh, top division. So uh, it wasn't too bad. But, uh, I mean, there's, he, this guy had a great season. Fantastic season. I'm sure you know, you know who that is. I'm going to ask you to let me tell me who that one is. I think you'll know who that keeper is. And the great, a great keeper's top, that is, isn't it? But... Who's that, who's that keeper that had a fantastic season for City? But he wasn't the only keeper that season uh, playing for City. Uh, the very first game of the of the, of the season was actually away at Coventry City. Um, and a certain someone, Magic Martin, uh, was the man of the match. So who was that? Who was the man of the match there? And it wasn't, certainly wasn't Tony Colton, which, uh, interestingly enough, who, so he got off to a great start in that match. Obviously, a good win for City against Coventry City. And we followed that up with an even better, look at that, 2-1 win against the old enemy, Liverpool. Absolutely fantastic 2-1 win. And uh, Liverpool had a new 2.9 million strike, which is a lot of money in those days. Could you think who that might have been back in um, 1991, August the 21st? So they had a 2.9 million striker if you... You figured out who that is, and then a home game. So we're doing pretty well. There's two wins, isn't it? There's two wins, and a home game against Crystal Palace. Another great win. City battle home against Crystal Palace. Who was the manager? Remember who Crystal Palace's Palace's manager would have been in that season? Yeah, you should you should do. And then then this is where it all starts to go wrong a little bit. <laughs> a nil nil draw with away at Norwich City. Which isn't fantastic. Carrow Road, great place. Usually not a bad ground for City, is it? It's not one of our better hunting grounds. They're, they're a place that we very rarely won at. Um, obviously a trip to Highbury and Arsenal. Um, obviously we didn't do so well there, did we? Obviously, again, a 2-1 loss at the end of August 1991. A 2-1 loss to Arsenal. Uh, and then we're back on track a little bit because we had uh, Nottingham Forest were in the old top division then. So Reeves the boss as we beat Nottingham Forest 2-1. Uh, so that wasn't too bad. But again, this is where it was a hot and cold season because, I mean, the next next game was a trip to Ellen Road and uh, this team would be challenging for the title with our little with our neighbours, uh, United. There were two Uniteds going in this season, wasn't there, for the title, 1991-92. So obviously we got absolutely battered, obviously 3-0 at Leeds. Uh, interestingly enough, look, look who's taking a penalty. No, but it was disallowed. Reid actually scored that penalty, but it was disallowed. Have you any idea what it was disallowed for? He actually scored. He actually did score score a goal for that penalty. Obviously, it did it out. We lost 3-0, but uh, do you know how, why it was disallowed? And here we got the... Again, at home. And following on from that, another Yorkshire visit from Sheffield Wednesday. And sadly, we lost, we lost that 1-0 uh, to Sheffield Wednesday. So obviously we're struggling a little bit, aren't we, after that great start? I mean, um, I don't think I need to ask you who that is, do you? Who's, the, who's that player? Who's that? Silly question, but I'm sure you'll get that one. So things are not looking so great. And then again, another home game. We had another home game against Everton. 
Uh, and look, we've got a, we've got another penalty taker. <laughs> so yes, another penalty taker for City. Uh, we, so we did have this penalty taking problems many, you know, a lot of times, didn't we? But we lost one 0 so we obviously didn't score it, did it? But can you can you see who that penalty taker is? Who's the guy taking the penalty? You know who that is? But. Yeah, Upton Park, the Berlin ground, wasn't it? But I always used to know it was Upton Park, then it was away to West Ham United. Uh, so we had the Berlin ground, but it was obviously, I always called it Upton Park. and uh, It wasn't a bad ground for City, I don't think. I think we got quite a few victories there. But a nice win there, West Ham won City 2. And then we went on to the, uh, the League Cup. Our League Cup match. Uh, do you know who the uh, League Cup was sponsored by that season? It was actually sponsored that season. We beat uh, Chester City. Well, there's a blast from the past. Chester City 3-1 at home. Um, I don't think it says on there what the what it was called. But do you know who the sponsors were of the uh, League Cup? And then a home game. A local derby. Not not against United, but obviously Oldham. Oldham were in the top division. Look at that. That was so depressing, wasn't it, to get beat by Oldham 2-1. And who was the older manager that game? Can you think who the older manager would have been in 1991-92 season? Again, well this is it. Well, you see a one win followed by a defeat. This was typical City that season. Wasn't very good at all. And then a trip. And this is an interesting one. Look who, who were playing. And this is, a, this is a league game, not a cup game. Notts County. Notts County 1, City 3. And yes, look, another penalty. <laughs> another penalty taker. <laughs> We're struggling, aren't we? So who's that? Tell me who that is. I think you'll know who that is. Who's that penalty taker? But how many is that now? Five penalty takers that season? Absolute nightmare. Sorry, Ch and obviously Chester was a two-leggy game, wasn't it, in the uh, League Cup? So we had to play him away. So after... Uh, that, that bit of a damp squib, obviously, the 3-1 simple win. It was even three, even better away from home. We actually won the 3-0 three, three away from home against Chester in the second leg. So 6-1. 6-1 on aggregate. That's a good score, isn't it? 6-1. And then off to White Hart Lane, which wasn't the happiest of hunting grounds, was it? White Hart Lane for City. So off to White Hart Lane. Um, some great images there. Uh, Niall Quinn and uh, another player I'm not going to mention because I featured him early on but some great images of White Hart Lane obviously a good victory for us at White Hart Lane which at the time was quite rare I mean it's become more common obviously certainly before the new White Hart Lane was built anyways but uh, that's um, but obviously Curl, uh, man of the match was Keith Curl but which who was the Spurs striker the well known famous Spurs striker that um, Keith Curl kept quiet that day and then off to Sheffield Wednesday and a 3-2 oh, we lost in a 3-2 uh, defeat there at Sheffield Wednesday but uh, getting a few injuries then and uh, we actually tried a centre half a centre forward and that centre half a centre forward is this guy so do you know who that is I'm sure you do So defeat at Sheffield Wednesday, but then we had the other Sheffield team to main to Main Road, uh, which we managed to win 3-2. City 3, Sheffield United 2. And then a lot of hope those days was like like a little cup run, wasn't it? That's what we really wanted, a real a cup run. But uh, obviously we had a home tie with QPR, but we couldn't do any of it. Nil-nil draw at QPR. So that would take us to a replay, wouldn't it? Where would it take us to a replay at? Where would uh, where the QPR played, you know that? I'm sure you do. So where would the replay have been at? Um, and now a place again where we didn't do so well at. The Dell, obviously Southampton, but we did very well this year. November the 2nd, 1991. A nice 3-0 uh, victory. A uh, very famous Saints player there. Um, if you see on the top corner there. Can you name that very famous Southampton player? I don't want to know the City player. Who's that Southampton player? Sure, most of you. Sure, I'm sure most of you'll get that. And then it was to to the proper derby, wasn't it? It was the um, the main road derby against United, but it was a bit of a damp squib that season. Uh, a nil-nil draw with United at uh, at Main Road. 
so obviously double page spread this is the evening news so you you would have got paul hints right in the city bit and you got david meek obviously right in the, the united bit so obviously like we're competing at the top like we were it was a i think we was in the top three then both city and united so uh it was an interesting game, but obviously as it is with these sort of things, when it's a big game like that, it ends up as a nil-nil draw. And then obviously over to QPR, obviously over, over to QPR. I won't say what the ground is, is for the uh, for the for the replay, and obviously a win for City there, three-one win at uh, Queens Park Rangers. Two goal, Adrian is a right little belter. So Mr. Adrian Heath scoring the goals there, um, and there. Uh, a trip to Luton Town, Luton Town again. So you can see these teams, isn't it, in the in the divi in the top division sort of thing. Um, two two battle, a bit of a battle. I mean, where do Luton play? Do you remember where Luton play? They're still there now. I think they're having a new ground built. Are they from? Oh, they're actually having it redeveloped, something like that. And another damp squid against a team that was pretty good at getting nil nils, wasn't it? Wimbledon. There's a great uh, kipax in the background there, absolutely fantastic. But uh, Wimbledon wasn't great, was it? I mean, that wasn't, wasn't the greatest team to play for entertainment in those days. They seemed to get the points, but nil nil draw against Wimbledon. And then, obviously, sadly, uh, a trip to uh, Middlesbrough. And obviously, the actual. Um, this is the cup again, so this is a league cup trip to Middlesbrough next round. We've won two through two rounds. This is obviously the fourth round, but a defeat at Middlesbrough in the fog. Obviously, they wanted the game called off at one stage, but it didn't get called off. Uh, I think City went in the, and took the lead in this game as well. Um, oh, no, sorry, White scored very late on. We were 2-0 down, and David White scored with about three minutes left. So we're out of the cup. So that's that's a cup run done, but we're still, we're still up near the top of the league. We're still doing quite well. And we're just going to finish part one with this game now. It was uh, Aston Villa 3, Man City 1. So, again, another defeat. So, obviously, Woeful Blues see their title challenge fading. So, this, this inconsistency is a really cost us. This is December the 7th now, 1991. Um, great pitch of the um, Villa goalkeeper there. Um, do you know who that Villa goalkeeper is? Who it is? You may have had connections with United as well. Yeah, so we'll finish it there. That's uh, part one of the, the Blues Review 1991-92. I think we're probably about, about what top six, I think, by the time the, the sort of first half of the season had finished. Uh, going through to answer the questions, the man of the match in that Coventry game, uh, the first game of the season, obviously I was going to say Tony Cole went on to have a fantastic season. The man of the match, the Magic Martin, was, of course, uh, Martin Margotson. So that was Martin Marger. So when we beat Liverpool 2-1, the uh, 2.9 million striker was Dean Saunders for Liverpool. Uh, we beat Palace 3-2, the Palace manager. Yeah, well, yeah, Steve Koppel, if you probably had a guess at that. Uh, and obviously the, the missed penalty, the um, Leeds 3 City nil. There was a missed penalty by City and we could see an image of uh, Peter Reid taking it there. Uh, what actually happened was he hit the crossbar, but not knowing the rules, he actually put the rebound in and obviously scored. But obviously, he hadn't touched another another player hadn't touched it, so Peter Peter Reed shouldn't have uh, put the rebound in off the crossbar. So that's why it was disallowed, quite rightly. So obviously, Peter Reed is a player manager. I think you should know the rules of basic rules of football, mate. And obviously, that was Niall Quinn, wasn't it? I asked you the image was of Niall Quinn. Obviously, Niall Quinn there, and the other image of the player. Taking a penalty, as I said, I think we had five penalty takers this first half of the season. It was Michael Hughes taking the penalty there. And obviously the Rumbelows Cup, it was the League Cup, was called the Rumbelows Cup. So that's what it was known, known as that season. And the Oldham manager who brought Oldham to Main Road and beat us 2-1, of course, Joe Royal. And the City player, I've got the image of a City player here. Taking yet another penalty at Notts County, of course. Uh, that middle one, middle picture. Was of course Clive Allen. And obviously Spurs went to uh, City went to Spurs, didn't they? And actually got got a victory at Spurs. But the, the guy Keith Curl, um, had man of the match and kept quiet, of course, was Gary Lineker, who was their uh, striker at the time. The, the centre half playing the forward for the there with the image was of course uh, Colin Hendry. Obviously QPR. 
obviously play at Loftus Road, don't they? I'm sure you, I'm sure you knew the, uh, the the QPR play at Loftus Road. I don't think they're I don't think they're ever moving any any time soon, to be honest with you. And the Southampton player, I showed you the image of, of course, at the top. There's Matt Letizia and Luton, Luton 2, City 2, that was of course played at Kenilworth Road. And the keeper, the keeper there, obviously that's Les Seeley. I think there's about 16 points, 16 little questions there, I don't know how well he did. Um, I worked it out earlier, uh, I actually got 10 out of the 16, which uh, wasn't wasn't too bad for that, 99-192. But... Uh, we're going to start off with another home game against QPR for part two of the Blues Review 91-92. Please hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed the little quiz and joined in with it as, as we went through. I'll be back with part two, so please keep your eyes open for that. If you push that notification button, you know when these little vlogs are coming out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please follow me on Twitter at Charles Deneens, Deneens spelled D-I-N-N-W-N or at Nostalgia underscore Movie. I've got two accounts. You can follow me on either and they're both linked together and I'll, I try to follow everyone back as well. And I'm on Facebook at Burn the Dean with links to MovieGameNostalgia.com, my little website where I say, sell old rare DVDs, movie posters from the 1990s and 2000s and some great actors, some great movies and some retro board games on there as well. So if you can spend a couple of minutes on MovieGameNostalgia.com, much appreciated. We hope you enjoy, enjoyed that. Just leave in the comments below any, any thoughts or memories of that season. You know, you remember any specific games or any. Do you remember the Peter read it in the bar and then putting it in and wondering why it was disallowed? I mean, obviously, the intelligence of some footballers hasn't, hasn't sort of increased over the years, has it? <laughs> Sorry, Peter, but uh, you were the manager. You should, know the, you should know the basic rules of football. Anyway, thanks for watching. What are we going to do the rest of the day? Have a great one. Look after yourselves, look after your friends. More importantly, look after your families and look after. let's all look after each other. This is Bernard until we meet again, saying goodbye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.